Good evening. How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Tuesday night. It is the Earth Master out here, 1043 p.m. August 19th, 2025. Here's the date. Uh, latest activity on the globe here shows a 2.5 across the area of Texas there out in the oil fields. That's uh, one of the latest quakes among many out there. Very typical across the oil fields. Also some newer activity way up north here into the Alaska region with a three-pointer coming in. Let's take a look here at the west coast, see what we got going on here first as far as Southern California goes. Uh, a little bit of clusterization going on down there across the San Jacinto Fault Zone. I don't see anything above 2.5 though, so mostly uh, mostly smaller microquake activity out there today. Uh, one earthquake up north here on the San Andreas Fault. Uh, for a 2.5, that's the only quake there above that uh, 2.5 threshold. Nothing big going on there for now across Southern California. Same for Northern California there up into Washington. Uh, well, not a whole lot showing up here on the map. Cascadia tremor activity. Let's go um, check that out real quick for the uh, tremor map. Shows us 293 epicenters here of Cascadia tremor. Roughly uh, in the same area here as the last couple days. A little bit uh, down in terms of the counts compared to yesterday, but we're still seeing uh, some earthquake activity, up, uh, well, tremor activity uh, within that area. I know there was a little earthquake off the coast here of Canada earlier this afternoon. That's a little bit further north here of the tremor activity, but we've been getting a little bit of uh, adjustment going on there across the Cascadia here recently. Uh, we'll check out Mount Rainier activity. I know nothing really shown up here aside from a couple earthquakes this morning. But uh, let's go see what we have here from the um, seismograph stations here around Mount Rainier. Just to double check. Got uh, This almost looks like a rock fall there or something. There. A little localized earthquake activity. Nothing big. I don't see any major uptick. But there's definitely still a couple earthquakes here. Um throughout the last 24 hours, but uh, nothing major going on. Over here at Yellowstone National Park, uh, got a number of volcano uh, earthquakes this morning around that super volcano. The last one, though, shows a 1.1 within that little swarming area. They're reporting eight earthquakes there across the area. So let's go see the Yellowstone um, activity here real quick. We'll check out a seismograph station there in the area. And the closest one, I believe, is going to be this one. Well, that's YMR. Let's check this one up north here. This one shows it a little bit better. There's a three-pointer, 3.7 that stirred up, also a 2.7. Number of other earthquakes out there as well. It does look like that swarm is continuing even up to this hour. Now, these are some smaller quakes, but they are quakes nonetheless. Most of the time when the USGS is out of the office, which today was probably around 3, I noticed that they stopped reporting some of these quakes. Uh, when they're out of the office here, they'll get to this other earthquake activity in the morning uh, once they get into office once again. But for the most part, they normally threat, they set a threshold out here for probably 2.5 and above. All these smaller quakes, obviously a little bit below that, uh, but it's still earthquake activity nonetheless. And I would say we have a lot more out here than just eight. So we'll check back tomorrow. Um, see if they added the count up a little bit because obviously there is still some earthquake activity and it looks like some type of a swarm going on there across Yellowstone National Park there. Uh, let's see, oil fields still rocking and rolling out there. Nothing new in Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, one earthquake there in the South Carolina area this morning. Nothing new to report across the eastern portion of the country for now. Uh, last 24 hours, the largest magnitude goes to a 5.7 down across the Argentina area that's well south there of argentina uh, but so far today uh, and there's not much time left here uh, that goes to a 5.4 in the tonga area so moderate earthquake activity throughout the last 24 hours uh, as far as anything major going on across the uh, globe still got some earthquake aftershock activity there in the russia area that's very common and that will continue there for a little while from that 8.8 uh, .8 that struck last month couple smaller quakes there around Japan. Nothing big going on there for now. And I uh, got the typical clustering going on there across Indonesia. New Zealand uh, looks like a deeper quake there underneath the area. 3.6, fairly new. Uh, but for that, uh, let's see what we've got going up here. Northern India here looks pretty active across this plate boundary west of Nepal. 
some forest stirring up out there and of course got some aftershock activity there around western turkey uh, kind of curious there about the Kilauea volcano this is the latest imagery let me make sure I have this refreshed of the Kilauea volcano it does look like it's uh, glowing down there maybe getting close here to see an eruption at any time soon uh, across that volcano at uh, Hawaii check out the deformation data here well going down a little bit surprisingly not uh, out of the norm because we actually seen something similar to that last time uh, back in uh, episode 30 here which was just a, um, earlier this month we've been building up since then uh, but there was a little bit of deflation, uh, deflationary activity going on there before a gradual return to inflation and then the eruption. So we'll watch that. It probably uh, uh, should happen overnight, maybe even tomorrow morning here. So that's at the Kilauea Volcano on the Big Island out there. Nothing of abnormal activity going on there for now. A quick glance at the space weather activity or lack there wow look at this a beautiful image there of a prominence blasting off that is a beautiful image i am going to keep that uh i do like to screenshot some of these images out here of the sun that looks like um well, a couple of them blasted off you guys see that over here one over here it does look like there's another one uh filament there facing earth on the on the north and then also down here on the south this just blasted off like crazy. Hard to say if any of that is earth directed, but that is uh, a beautiful image here. We'll have to wait and see if uh, things kick up here in the coming uh, nights for the aurora activity. But uh, wow, that is just it's a little scary looking. But uh, nothing, nothing uh, we haven't seen before. It's just been a little while since we've seen anything uh, in that nature. Uh, no major solar flares going on there. Flare threat is uh, fairly quiet. Not seeing anything in terms of uh, complex sunspots out here. This area has grown a little bit since this morning, but uh, well, I guess we'll kind of watch that and see how that does. Uh, Forest Storm Prediction Center, uh, remainder of the night. Nothing big going on there for the severe weather. Uh, a glance here at uh, Hurricane Aaron. Moving slowly. Let's go ahead and check out the latest data here. Still got a decent area of circulation. Uh, looks like we're at sustained winds of 100 miles per hour, so that is weakening. Um, it does look like it is expected to bump back up here a little bit into a major hurricane status. And we're below that right now as it takes that northeastward turn and then uh, eventually heads way out into the Atlantic uh, without really touching land out here. We There is a tropical storm warning out here around the Carolina area. And it looks like a tropical storm watched north of there. But uh, for the most part, uh, the brunt of that is supposed to stay offshore. And as uh, far as anything behind that goes, let's see what we got here for the latest model. Bring up the lower dynamics. There's Aaron right there. It's going to move off to the northeast. And, well, there's that little one that was expected, well, it was forecasted here to go into the Gulf or Florida area. Looks like that's going to get caught up in the patterns out there in the Atlantic and stay away from the land. Uh, and then after that, well, nothing showing up here in the models, but uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on that in case things change out here. Uh, nothing major going on there across the seismograph stations for now. It looks pretty quiet. Um, we'll just uh, see how the remainder of the night goes out here as far as earthquakes. Have a good one, folks. Just want to keep this nice and short. We'll catch you guys out here in the morning for the Wednesday morning update. Have a good night.